I would really like to know what genius decided to invite Big Brother government over to play video games. Everyone knows that fucker only plays by his own rules. All horrible cornball puns to try and ease my mind aside. There's been a uh, recent surge in government activity revolving video games that has, well, to be frank, disturbed and scared me. There were two things that happened this week. One of them kind of ho-hum, but still relevant, and the other one, oh my god, how the fuck did this happen? The first was last week, France was uh, going to uh, amend uh, or add an amendment or however it was phrased to a bill that gives a tax credit to games that are made in France. Uh, this amendment would have made it so that any game uh, deemed by the French government to be degrading to women uh, would not be able to receive said credit. First, I have a, I have a very big question. Could you give me the definition of degrading to women, please? Because that is a very vague term, and I feel like it could be heavily misused. No? Okay, carry on then. I read over this thing several different times. Unless there is something lost in translation, it was just so horribly worded that it should never have even been brought up. But it was, and thankfully it was withdrawn. Whether it comes back again or not, I don't know. That one is the kind of ho-hum one, which I do still find bad that the government would get involved with that, but to some extent, it is their own tax credit they're talking about, so I can see why they would be talking about it, but it was just done so poorly that this makes me a little bit worried about what they could do for the future. But, if you're in America, good news! You're still the king of censorship! There was an app, a phone app, a really stupid little phone app game uh, called Stolen, with an exclamation point at the end of the name, because that makes everything more fun. The basic premise of this game was that anyone who had a Twitter profile, your friend, your relative, just any random person that you know or have heard of, uh, you can uh, purchase their profile. Basically the way it starts is it's a thousand dollars in game currency that includes your own. You buy them. People will steal them from you by buying them at a higher rate, etc., uh, etc., et so on and so forth until you get profiles that are worth millions. Uh, it's, it's that kind of thing. It's like trading baseball cards, actually, as one Guardian article put it. What that same Guardian article did, though, and what every single article I have seen about this app has done, and I googled like a dozen of them, it's astounding how all eerily similar they sound. They referred to this as actually stealing people and invading privacy and uh, all this kind of stuff. Where what? But but unlike trading baseball cards, you're trading real people. Today I learned baseball players are not real people. Go figure. I I saw terms like mega gross. Thank you, ten year old author. Uh, I saw things like it could uh, lead to harassment or it could uh, lead to stalking. You know, no, nothing confirmed, but it could. You know, because people who have public Twitter 
profiles should not have these public Twitter profiles in a game because that's harassment. Logic. Here's where the censorship part comes in. There was a congresswoman who sent a letter to both Apple and uh, I believe, let me double check to make sure I got the who it was right. Oh yeah, Twitter itself. To both Apple and Twitter itself. She sent a letter saying that this thing was horrible, that it could lead to, uh, again, could lead to harassment and all this kind of stuff, and that it should be taken away. By the way, I'm going to have this letter, which was from this representative's own Twitter feed, by the way. They were that proud of it in the description. Now, the problem here is, and this is where I differentiate it from a personal opinion to government intervention, on this letterhead was Congress of the United States. It had the congressional stamp on the top of it. It had all this government uh, hoopla at the top. And at the bottom, Member of Congress. So at that point, you stop being a person with an opinion, and you start being a government representative. Of course, it should shock no one that the game has since been taken down. Because, why the fuck not? Let me just say, I'm absolutely livid! I never... This was my nightmare scenario. This is something I saw as an absolute worst case. I did not think it would actually fucking happen. What in the hell is wrong with people? What is wrong with the people who called for this? What in the Sam fuck is wrong with our own goddamn media for basically inviting this? Am I losing my mind here? Even the, the most uh, strongest, stringent anti-censorship, uh, well, they're uh, against the idea of censorship. Oh, well, it can only be censorship if it's the government that does it. They can't deny this. This was a government representative doing this. Oh, but uh, they, they didn't pass a law, so it wasn't the government that did anything. Uh, here's a little bit of uh, information for you. The government never passed a law saying that the Comics Code Authority needed to exist. They said, you do it or we will. The government never passed a law saying that the ESRB needed to exist. They said, you do it or we will. The government did not pass a law here saying that this game needed to be taken down. But this representative's own posted letters basically say, you do it or I fucking will. As a government representative. How can people deny this anymore? They've invited censorship in, and now it's coming from the government itself. Holy fuck. What is wrong with people? Why is this acceptable? Because it was something that they didn't like? It just wait until it is something you like. This is only the first step. If the government finds that they can get away with it, they will get bolder. That's what a government does. They will do more. They will justify more. They don't even have to justify anymore. People will justify it for them! I... 
am so pissed off at this. This is something that scares the ever-loving fuck out of me, and it can only lead to worse. Congratulations, media! Congratulations, uh, censorship uh, approvers! Whatever the fuck you want to call yourselves at this point, I don't even know anymore. You done it. You brought in the government. Try denying this one. <laughs> Boy. It's only two weeks in and into the new year. Man, 1984 is already shaping up to be a great one. It's been Math Machine losing his goddamn mind because someone invited the government over.